Hi everyone, this is Anthony Morganti. In this video, I'm going to teach you what I believe to be the easiest and fastest way to soften skin in Lightroom. In my opinion, this is the fastest and easiest way to soften a person's skin in Lightroom. Step one, open up your brush tool and you're going to want to use a brush preset. So click on this drop down, and Lightroom comes with two brush presets for skin softening. One is just called Soften Skin and the other is called Soften Skin Light. For this demonstration, I'm going to use Soften Skin. In most instances, you'll find that this brush preset is very heavy and probably too heavy, but then I'm going to show you how you could dial it back. So we're going to use soften skin. It will automatically put the sliders where they need to be. Then go down to the brush attributes towards the bottom. We want to turn auto mask on and we want to make sure that feathering is all the way down to zero. Keep flow and density at a hundred. Then go over on the left panel and you can see at the top of the navigator we have, uh, we could fit it to screen or zoom into 100%. Also, I could zoom out to 25%. Also, you could use this drop down, let's say zoom out to 33%. Just zoom out so it's really small on your screen like it is now. Then what you wanna do is you wanna get a brush that covers the entire image. So I'm gonna use the right bracket key and just zoom out until that brush covers her entire face. As a matter of fact, it's covering the entire image. And then simply click once with the left mouse button. We just softened her skin. Now I'm going to zoom back in. I'm going to fit it to screen and I'll give you a before after. First, let me get rid of this large obnoxious brush. There's before and there's after. And you'll notice that it didn't affect her eyes. It didn't affect her hair. It just affected her skin. Now I'm going to go over and I'm going to hover over that uh, pin and you'll see that where the red is is where it affected. It just affected her skin. Now it did affect her lips a little bit and if I wanted to remove it from there I could go over here and get an erase brush and just simply erase it from her lips. So once I do that and I'm satisfied that her lips look good I could come back over here and go back to the A brush that we were using. And let's just say that it's a little bit too heavy. I want to dial it back. Now I could come in and just push these sliders back, but in what proportion do I push them back to each other? There's an easier way. Just go up to this little triangle, click on that, and everything will collapse down into an amount slider. And I could just dial back that effect with that amount slider. So there's before and there's after. Now if you don't want to do that, there's actually another way you could do this. Uh, just, I have it on full now. What I want to do is hold in the Alt or Option key. It's Alt if you have PC option, if you have a Mac. And when you do, the cursor turns into this little minus sign. But when you hover over the button, you'll notice before the red comes in, you see how we have that kind of like horizontal arrow? That's encouraging us to click and drag. So I'm going to click and drag to the left. And you'll see that I'm dialing back the adjustment. There it is all the way off. And there, it, if I drag to the right, it's all the way on. So that's another way you could come in and adjust how strong the effect is. The final way is you go over here and get a range mask and you want to get a color mask, then get the eyedropper and just click on her skin. And now it's less, it's just mainly affecting specific tones in her skin. And you could use this amount slider to make it either stronger to the right or less strong to the left. So that is another way you could come in here and readjust your softened skin brush adjustment. So there's before and there's after. Thank you everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs> 